Hello, welcome to this video demonstration of how to add a link in WCMS. <clears throat> this is a very simple uh, thing to do. There's two, there's two possible links to add, but I will show you both. To begin, we need to go to the page we are concerned with. So, yeah, on the le in the left menu bar, uh, we click on Wrap SDDU brings up a bunch of subfolders and your list will be different than mine because you will see the folders to which you have access. Everyone's should be a little different. Mine, uh, all of ours will have the e BLEDUC web option towards the bottom. <coughs> we will click that and bring up the website and there we go. Um, for, for demonstration purposes I have a testing page already created and it's in the IST student portal and I am going to go there by going to student graduates and then programs which is already open programs and there we have a list of all the programs for graduate student portal I want IST and then I need to find the page I created and here we go this new testing page and so new testing page to the right as I hover over there's a triangle that appears so I click on the triangle and I have a few options and I want to edit that page so I click on edit <coughs> and there we go so now within this page uh, in the content um, we see two bullets but I want to add some links to this content so I'm going to be call this link number one and that's going to be for internal page and then link number two which is going to be for a document and external links are really simple so I will in the process I will show you how to do an external link um, but both a document and an internal page are considered internal and those are um, those are the two main options so from there, <coughs> from there, what we want to do is highlight what the link is going to be, what it, what the words are that are going to actually be linked. So I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight internal page for this first link, and then I'm going to come up here to this icon, this chain link fence icon, where it says insert slash edit ink a link, and I will click on that. Now you see two options: internal or external. Uh, quickly external is you simply add the URL to um, whatever site you wish it to go to externally to the School of Ed so for example if I wanted it to go to CNN.com that's what I would press and then I save that and it would link and take the uh, user of the page take the person that clicks on it to CNN.com that's an external link it, it's external to the School of Ed and these pages here in WCMS, but that's not what we're doing right now. We're doing an internal page. So we click the internal option and then we'll come over here to this icon, which is a browsing icon. We click on that. On the left, we have the same menu bar that we've always had. And we want to tell it to link to, um, let's say, the, the home page of IST. So to do that, <laughs> right now it's showing that it's highlighted over just the IST uh, grad student portal page because that's what we are currently inside of in the page that we're editing. So I need to get out of there. And yeah. So we need to find um, graduate programs. Where is it? Instructional systems technology. Yeah. And here, under IST, for just the main website of IST, there's one main base page. And that is the index. And that's what I'm clicked on. I confirm. And now that link will take the person to the IST base page in the School of Ed website. Again, this is not the student portal. This is a separate. This is the main uh, program page for IST that's what we want so it's website graduate programs and then that's the program <coughs> and the index being the main homepage for that now 
I recommend on all links choosing new window. That way an individual clicks on that link, it'll open up automatically a new window. I think that's the easiest option for the user. So I click on insert and there we go. It's now there. If I ever want to edit a link, I simply move the cursor into that range of where the hyperlink is underlined and then these things are already highlighted. If I click on the right one, a broken chain link fence, that unlinks the uh, what we've just done. We don't want to do that. We might want to edit. So we click on the left one again. That brings up everything that, that we've saved, but I can go in and edit it how I so desire. But uh, I like the way it is, so I'm not even going to do that. So that's one link. That's to an internal page. Now we want to uh, uh, link it to a document. Say I have a PDF that I want to go here. So I'm going to highlight this word document, and again, same drill. Click on the link icon. It's going to be internal, so I click Browse. It's going to be internal, even though it might not be internal yet. Let's say it's stored on my hard drive, stored on my actual personal computer folder system. Um, ultimately, it will be internal, which means I have to upload it. So I click on Upload, and then choose File and I am going to be in my in my desktop and in my desktop I see this PDF it's a chapter 5 that I, that's what I'm looking for so I click that from my computer and I upload it and that's successful so I confirm again new window insert and now we see that that also has now been linked uh, pay no attention to this space right here that space simply indicates that there's an uh, an a little graphic that'll go there to indicate that this particular file that's linked is to a PDF. There's a PDF little icon that automatically goes here. Hence this space that we did not put in. So just go ahead and ignore that. Everything's good to go. So I click submit. And so once we see a green bar then it indicates that success is locked in. So we successfully successfully saved. Uh, even though this is blank and it's rendering and it's thinking, pay no attention to that. This green bar indicates that it is indeed successful. We can go ahead and skip the renderings if we don't want to wait 30 to 40 seconds. We can just click publish and go ahead and continue on and publish that and make it live. Um, but, but basically all of our edits are done. Uh, we've added not just one, we've added two links. And here we go. This is what it looks like. One for an internal page. So I click on that. And that would take us to the... IST homepage if everything works properly. <coughs> and still rendering. There we go. IST homepage. And then we back and we'll test out the other page <coughs> and there we go chapter 5 and yes both of them have opened up in new tabs and so this page is good to go. We can publish, and uh, publishing would make it go live. But I'm not going to do that for this demonstration. I hope you found that helpful, and thank you very much.